All right, hey guys, it's uh, Wayne with Family Acreage Farms. We're uh, adding some uh, sodium bicarb because uh, they eat this mostly and it helps balance their rumen. I'm going to show you the mineral feeder real quick. I said I was going to do that in the last video and I haven't done it yet uh, and I wanted to tag it and so we're going to do this again. So in here we got C, this ain't C90. It was C90 but right now we just got some Redmond salt in there. This is just a salt lick. I can just toss it. Literally I could bring it up to the sheep. <laughs> Uh, this is A, D, and E. They really don't even hit this at all. This here is calcium. They have been drink eating some calcium out of here. Uh, is what this one is. And here's a sodium bicarb. Look at that thing. It is empty. So Mason wanted to pour some in there. A little warm. Oops, needs a scissor. Let me get my oh. knife out. Yep. Uh. I'll cut it open for you, Mason. So we're going to pour, pour some sodium bicarb in there because that literally, they, you can't keep it in there. And if, uh, if you ever have an upset stomach, sour stomach, you do that, it's, it's pretty much antacid is what it is. So we can get it at Sam's, cheaper than you can get it on Amazon, cheaper than you can get it on at, at a store. This is four cents an ounce. This is 13.5 pounds. So this guy here will go a long ways. For them, here you go, Mason. It's pretty heavy. I'll help you pour it. Uh, you got it. We don't need to put it all in, though, buddy. Maybe we do. Let's see. I think half is good for now. What do you think, or do you want to do it all? Or you can do it on the other side too. I don't know if there is any on the other side, is there? Let's check. Let's check the other side. What is that there? What is this one here? This is no, K. Look yeah. at that. They've killed this K. We need to bring some K. We got magnesium. Biofoss they aren't eating anymore. We got C90 and sulfur. So we need to bring some K. I didn't even realize they were eating all the K up. Okay. So that's one thing we need to add. Let's add the sodium bicarb to the other side. But the reason why we do this, I'll put all of them. So I'll put it in there why they need each one and what it does for them. That'll be easy to put in. And I'll put that in the description below. Okay. And so go ahead and pour it all in, buddy. There you go. Pour it all in there. They'll love you for it. There you go. And then right now, if you look at the calves, they're over there eating around the water trough. Uh, I put hay over there because that's a really high traffic area. And so get out of it. Get out of it, Mason. We're done with it. Okay. Here you go. Put that inside your trash. There, there you go. Now we're going to spread this hay. Now, all right, so I'll make another video here, and we're going to do a... Uh, Hey, okay? You can watch the next video and see why we do the hay. Hey guys, it's Wayne with Family Acreage Farms. I just want to show you why we put hay on the ground. Because if you look here, this here is is just dirt, dry, dead dirt. You know what I mean? It's it's you need roots in the ground, you need armor on the ground. There's no armor on this ground. Uh, this was at one point in time an equine farm, so it it's horses. And they have lips and they just pick everything off and they, they ate it to nothing. Uh, so we got to armor this ground. We got to keep the sun from hitting it. Uh, and that'll cool the temperatures down, let the microbes live a little bit, live better. And then when the rain comes down, it hits the ground at 30 miles an hour and it hits this, this dry dust and it makes a cake. And this is, this is actually clay. You try to get in this thing now, it's like a brick oven. I mean, it's been in a brick. And so, uh, I literally use a masonry bit to be able to put my posts in. So, Put a little hay around, especially in the high traffic areas, and we're just, over time, nice and slowly, we'll be building this up. Uh, we are, I've talked to the property owner, and he said he wants to do, he wants to seed. So we're going to look up some nice um, perennial seeds that'll come up, especially bunch grasses, like Indian grass and stuff like that. And so we, if we want to put those in, we'll, we'll do that. But I'm putting half a bale around this. So this will feed the calves. They'll come over here. They'll step on it. They'll poop on it. They'll pee on it. And it'll make a little compost pile right here to armor the soil. And every time we come out here, you, I put this in a dead, dry spot and cover it with hay. See this junk here? It's just nasty. And so that, that way, the calves help me improve the land with their pee and poop instead of destroying the land. Here you go, buddy. Can you hold the hot wire for me? All right. And this is how you do it. It's really hard. See that? So the calves come over here, they, they spend, this is a high traffic area, they spend a lot of time over here getting this stuff out of here, so.
Come on. I have more hay. And this uh, eventually we'll have the sheep and the llama in here with the calves. Right now they're getting trained at an electric fence. And I also got to get it to where I can get, you know, three to four wires out here. And also in the middle, three to four wires. So I'm working that up. The infrastructure ain't there for that part yet. And I ordered some Gallagher Smart Fence, which is a really cool little fence that you can put three or four, four wires out at a time. So I'll show a video of that. We're going to get that Monday. Today is Saturday. So I'm pretty excited about that. And then we'll be able to do our separation of the paddocks. There you go. That's pretty much it. They'll come over here, stomp it down, eat it on it, get that sodium bicarb out of here, butt each other around. But they'll put that, that hay, a lot of it, into the ground and help armor the soil. All right, guys. Well, thank you all for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. And uh, we'll be uh, putting more videos up of how to do all this. Thank you all.